Rolling Stones named him the sixth best guitarist in history. Rock and roll legend Chuck Berry had a career which spanned seven decades. And his first big hit was in 1955 with the song Maybelline. It came right in at the right time when Afro-American music was spilling over into the uh, mainstream of pop. His guitar riffs carried a bit of blues, a touch of country rhythm and blues, and a hint of gospel. His songs carried an edginess that would define timeless teenage carefree attitude for decades to come. Classics like Johnny B. Good and Roll Over Beethoven provided a sexier, grungier rock and roll than the pop versions people were used to. I came with a blues, and uh, that was sort of raunchy then, but I got a terrific ovation. He was awarded a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If you really have good intentions, some of your ventures may be wrong, but I think you come back. Barry said rock and roll brought young people together more than any other genre of music. And that if two people like the same music, then they can dance to it standing side by side. And that's a form of communication. He's survived by his wife of 69 years and his four children.